My name is Arlo Andrade. I'm from Chicago, Illinois, originally. My whole intention for, for this trip uh, actually turned into quite the adventure, but it was uh, for uh, the High Times Medical Cannabis Cup. And I'm dedicating my life right now to uh, helping in any way I can to helping legalize such a simple plant. The least I could do is uh, give my time. And I got to meet some amazing, wonderful people, and that's what I was hoping for on this journey. I was born HIV, and when I was a kid, I was given the Make-A-Wish thing, and I took the trip to Disneyland as my wish. And I was walking around out here earlier today, and I was thinking, man, I think I got my second wish to come true. So it's just been an amazing experience. This is just awesome. Especially, too, that I have the support of my parents. And it took a long time to really get them to see cannabis as a medicine. That I could live happy doing this. And they're seeing, my mom's actually even doing her own research now on it. And telling me facts, which I think is awesome. When the first time she did that, I was like, hell no. My mom's telling me facts about medical marijuana. I thought that was the coolest thing. Probably the, the worst ailments is stomach cramps. Um, I wake up every day, sometimes can't even stand up straight because uh, they're so bad. Um, and instantly, uh, pot will get rid of it, whereas all the other methods just don't work the same. It doesn't have the same impact. It doesn't uh, work as quick or, or anything. It's, it's just not, not the same in any way. Cannabis is just a much more powerful, much more potent medicine that, that gets right to the source instantly you're not waiting 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes or whatever for it to kick in um and that's how i really and it took me a while really to learn that it really was a medicine because for the longest time i was screwing up with drug addiction and just kind of lost in my own world and that a lot of that came from depression which the depression came from uh, living with HIV and for the longest time I just felt my life was worthless you know like I, I was suicidal I hated myself I didn't want to have anything to do with anybody else um, so HIV doesn't really just impact you on a physical level it impacts you mentally in an extraordinary way that's not good and uh, by being able to smoke or take cannabis as an edible or in any fashion it just helps relieve that kind of stress and that tension and that anxiety where you where you could kind of step back from the situation for a second and kind of look around and think okay life is pretty good you know like right now I haven't been able to say that life is good in in a long 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 time many many years it's been that I've been able to truly honestly say that where I could look in the, I, for a long time I would avoid looking in the mirror because I hated who I was and couldn't deal with that. And um, it took learning that cannabis really does help as a medicine. And that it, it, it saved my life. <laughs> it's awesome.